Hello, I'm Bernie. I'm a food delivery rider. I've been doing food delivery for close to two years now. So to my left, it's the Woodland Central area. Being a food delivery rider has given me a way to stay active. And also, I want to show how a typical day is like. Get them to explore different zones and not stick to their own zone. One of my passions is in urban planning, looking at how a city is being designed and how the roads are being built. So this gives me joy in figuring out the different ways the neighbourhoods are being formed. Hi, I'm Elfie. I work as a tourist guide. I've been a guide for slightly over a decade now and currently I work for Let's Go Tour and I lead groups on bicycle tours. Usually, I will do the morning tour, which starts at 8.30 and ends at 12.30. And sometimes I do have afternoon or night tour. So bicycle tours attracts a certain group of people. And most of the time, these people are fun, adventurous, positive. And I like to be around that kind of positivity. When I started food delivery, it actually takes it to a whole new level with the shifts and accepting the jobs, not knowing where is the destination, figuring out uh, the orders, how to place them in the bag. I think the current e-bike laws in Singapore are not holistic enough. So the weight limit currently for an e-bike is 20 kilograms and the speed limit is 25 kilometers an hour. So this results in drivers trying to dangerously overtake us when they have the chance. I think that food delivery itself as a job is not dangerous. How we are not allowed to ride on footpaths, so we are being forced to ride on the road. When they see certain sites landmark in Chinatown and tell them how our hawkers yeah, used to do their business yeah, literally out on the streets and now we have hawker centres and everything is regulated. So it's about then and now and making them imagine. First stop, Chinatown, I got for them authentic Singapore food and they happen to be bite sized as well. Yeah, because we will be eating three times. So the last thing I want is for them to be full at the first stop. Yeah. For challenges that I cannot control, it would be things like rain. Sometimes I can be in the middle of a delivery. So during those times, I have to complete it. But the biggest challenge that I face is road safety. I can't control how people behave on the road. It's not about the size of the vehicle. We are all human beings and we all use the road. We have somewhere to go. So I hope that everyone will practice more empathy and be more understanding and forgiving towards each other. Must visit by bicycle. Definitely Marina Bay ranks as the number one place that tourists should experience cycling because it's bicycle friendly, it's beautiful, yeah, yeah, lots of photo opportunities. Place to avoid, it has to be Orchard Road in the evening. Yeah, it's just too overwhelming with pedestrians. Yeah. Most of the time we'll be cycling in a single file and because, you know, Singapore used to be a British colony, we drive on the left side of the road, so I will al always advise them to keep left yeah, so that's one. Point number two would be advising them not to venture off or wander off on their own. Three would be hand signals. Yeah, so along the way, I'll be showing them some hand signals. So this will preempt them. What's my next move? Be it turning left, turning right, look out for traffic. 
Yeah, so hand signals. My top three tips on how to be a better food delivery rider. Try to know your area really well. Bracky the roads that have less traffic. Avoid the arterial roads where there are more cars and buses. The second tip is to keep your bike in good working condition. Check your brakes and your tyres to make sure they're all good. And one last tip, if you're an e-bike rider, make sure you turn off your bike when you get off. If not, you might accidentally hit the pedals and cause the bike to surge forward. I think the most rewarding part of the job is that a tour for a family and they had a 10-year-old child. So I asked the child, what is one thing that you look forward the most in Singapore? And he answered me with just one word, he wanted to see otters. And true enough, we actually spotted a family of otters at Marina Bay and I could just see him beaming yeah, with happiness and that really really made me happy as well that I get to uh, fulfill his uh, wish in Singapore. I like to believe that sometimes as Singaporeans we are still tourists in our own country so it's quite nice if I am able to impress my Singaporean friends yeah, about certain places you know that we go on our bicycle tour. So yeah, I do uh, revisit these places with friends and families. It may be a common misconception that food delivery riders have no skills or they cannot get a full-time job. But in fact, they come from all walks of life and also different stages in their life. Or like me, who is in the middle of a career transition. We all have a reason why we do food delivery and it's not just one dimensional. So to all the food delivery riders out there, never stop challenging yourself. You are more capable than you think.